Hi beauties, welcome back. So uh, we're chugging along through our unboxings of our monthly subscription services. Uh, this one is our Ipsy standard. If you guys are new, basically my mother has an Ipsy subscription. I have an Ipsy subscription. Each month I go and I collect, she also has BoxyCharm and like the Ipsy plus slash Glam Bag X. So each month I go over to her house after they've all been delivered, I collect them all up and then we sit down and I film us unboxing the side-by-side -side bags, um, pick my favorite bag as a total, and then I pick my fav my favorite five products. I'm having trouble speaking today. Oh, sitting, we just did BoxyCharm. I was a little disappointed with my BoxyCharm. I don't remember what my Ipsy standard was. I am saving the Glam Bag X for last because I have thoughts on that. I, spoiler alert, I was very dissatisfied with this Glam Bag X. I felt like it was a miss of a month. But anyway, that's not this video. So I don't really remember uh, what I chose or if anything in the bag that was good. That's kind of the nice thing about like doing, I only remember it if I really dislike it or if I really like it, because by the time I sit down to film it, I've completely forgot like everything about it. So yes, so let's jump in. I always start with moms. Here we go, here we go. I do remember, I love the bag, love the bag. In fact, I'm remembering now I was so dissatisfied with the options for the Glam Bag X, I actually chose the bag, which I don't normally do. Anyway, love the bag though. Look at that, adorable. It looks like a little snakeskin skin clutch type purse. Love it, so precious, just absolutely adorable. But the theme this month was Wanderlust. That was our theme. So first thing that I'm seeing is, looks like mom got a lot of decent sized products and a lot of makeup, so, oh, if you guys are new, mom was really hating Ipsy for a while. Everybody in the comments said, change your age. So she changed her age from 57 to 37. And already the, in the two months that we've seen it, her little bag and her last Glam Bag Plus, not the X, but I think the X was bad for everybody in my opinion, um, depending on what you like. But for, for both of us, it was really bad. Um, but she has gotten more makeup I like selected for her since doing that in these two months and she has all year. So it's been crazy. So that's probably why I'm seeing a lot of makeup products initially, but I just wanted to throw that out there as a catalyst. But so first thing, it looks like it's a full sized matte liquid lip from MTU NYC. And it's in a really pretty neutral color, um, maybe a little bit more like pinky than she would probably normally go for. Um, my mom likes really neutral lips. So that's, I mean, I, it looks like a pretty neutral color for most people, but like that's, she really wants like very nude shades, but I do think she'll wear it. So yes, good size and a good product. Um, the next thing we have is from 111 Skin. Uh, it's a Nocturnal Eclipse Recovery Cream. It is a small sample size, but I have received enough 111 Skin products to know that these carry a hefty price tag. So even a little sample of this is probably a pretty decent find in your standard bag. And I mean, I do think it's something that she probably would use. I'm trying to figure out if it tells me what it's for. I think it's just a rejuvenating cream. Go in there and like make everything like, you know, high and tight. So yeah, good product. Uh, I do think it's like a nice thing to have for traveling and things like that. So yeah. Next thing we have is from Pure. I love Pure. I love Pure. Some of my favorite foundations, some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes come from Pure. Huge Pure fan. Um, but it's from Pure Cosmetics and this is the On Point 4-in-1 Mascara with Hemp. They last year released an entire hemp collection and I bought a good amount of it. I have the palette. I've got a couple of their CBD oil base creams and things like that. So yeah, I, I like that collection a lot. Mascaras, you guys, if you've been with us for a while, you know, mascaras are kind of like a product for me. Like we get a lot of them. They're kind of like that throwaway product, but I don't think it's a bad thing. And honestly, based on what I'm seeing with mom's products, it's, they basically gave her like a full face worth of makeup, which that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good thing in my opinion. Uh, next thing we have is a little blush from Pixi. It is a in the shade Ginger Blossom. Pretty nice little like peachy kind of neutral color. Uh, so we've seen quite a few in our time with Ipsy, both mom and I have seen quite a few Pixie uh, by Petra blushes. And I'm gonna say something and it's gonna sound probably shitty, but I feel like they all look the same. Like I know that they're different colors. Maybe some are slightly pinker than some are slightly more orange, but like, honestly, I probably could separate them into two categories of like, these are pink based and these are orange based. And that's about the extent of the differentiation I can do. Um, it sounds terrible. It just, they just all look alike. Like 
I have other blushes in like multiple shades where, from the same brand that they're like the same collection, they're different shades and it's like, oh, you can tell like this is a slightly more peach orange and this is a slightly more orange orange. I don't, I don't feel like that the Pixie by Petra ones that we get, but not a bad thing. I'm just saying, I feel like we've gotten a lot of them and they all kind of look alike. And then the last thing we have is from Alexman Beauty and this is a little really freaking cute eyeshadow duo. I don't know if my mom's gonna like it or not, but I love it. Like a brown gold matte color and then a really shimmer gold, absolutely just, I, lo I love this, I love this. I. I kind of hope I got one too, because I really, that's a really gorgeous little eyeshadow duo. Good good bag, it's a solid bag, yeah. I mean, it's really hard to complain when for months she was getting no, virtually no makeup options at all. And this bag, she has four makeup pieces and then one nice skincare piece. So yeah, really solid bag. I think it's gonna be really hard for mine to beat that because that's a, that's one of the best bags I think my mom's gotten all year. So yeah, I really like that one. All right, first thing that I have here is from Farah Beauty. This is the medium angled shading brush uh, 55E. So I've talked about, for a while I was really enjoying getting brushes because the more brushes I have, um, more backup brushes and stuff that I have, the less often I have to wash my brushes. And I've been doing makeup so irregularly that I can't tell you the last time I washed. I think the last time I washed brushes was when we moved into the house, which was in January. It, we moved in December and I probably washed them in January. So I really should wash them. But I have a lot of like backup brushes. And so when they're dirty, I just grab like a set of backup brushes. And so I like having extra eyeshadow brushes and stuff like that. Uh, that being said, I've gotten to the point now where I have like an entire drawer aside from the ones that I use regularly. And I probably have like 30 or 40 that I like use regularly. So I've got a lot of brushes at this point, but I do like Farrah's brushes. So in a long winded way. Like I like, I like this product, but I also would prefer instead of getting like an angled blending brush, just to get like one of the nice, like little floofy. I feel like the little, like just the little normal blending brushes are what I use the most. So I, yeah, it's an okay product. Let's move on. That's what, it's I, I, not bad, not good. That's how I feel about it. Yeah, anyway. Damn, man. Yeah, I like mom way better. Shit. Man, I'm really getting, I'm really getting the shaft on all my boxes this month. Damn, okay, well. This is what I chose. I do remember this, that I chose this. Uh, this is the Sparkling Liquid Eyeshadow by The Balm. Oh, Eyeshadow Fard, I don't know. If that's like the name of it, but it's from The Balm. I have not used one of their liquid eyeshadows, but I love liquid eyeshadows. I The Ciate London one, some of my favorites. It's a really pretty like coppery shimmer color. And I just, lo I love them. I can use them all the time. So I chose that um, and that is all I remember. That's all I remember about this box. Next thing I have is Tint. Uh, the brand is Tint and it's a clear brow gel. Honestly, it may seem kind of like a silly product, like, but I, I, I don't have a lot of clear brow gels that I like and I use them every time I do my brows, which is every time I get ready. So I actually really am excited about this one. Good product. Uh, hopefully it works well because I found that some of them, like for, I do not like Benefit's formula for it. Tarte has a formula for it that I really like. Benefits, for whatever reason, it becomes like really like pilly and then it winds up leaving this residue on your eyebrow. I don't know how to explain it. So if you guys have used the Benefit one and you've experienced the same thing that I have, then hopefully you know what I'm talking about. If not, then I guess I just sound crazy. I just don't like their formula. So I'm excited. Hopefully this is a decent formula because I'm always looking for good ones. I also got another Pixie by Petra blush. This is in the shade Frosted Floor and I'm, Okay, so in the light, I can definitely see, this is definitely more of like a deep kind of like, it's a deep purple based one, I would call it. And this is like a light pink one. Honestly, this shade, the one that my mom got is the one I would use more likely, but what are you gonna do? I'm not really like a fan of like pink, pink blushes, but I did want to, I wanted to test out my theory and see if they do all look alike. They don't. I will, I will say that those two shades don't look alike, but I don't know. I just feel like they all look alike in my opinion. I don't know. The last thing I got is a Moroccan Magic Argan Oil Essential Oil Lip Balm. What are you doing over there? She said, I'm not doing shit. What are you doing? I don't know. Cause she knows she should have been digging it. She was eating the lights. She was like, oh, the lights are on the ground. Oh yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so I got, yeah, a lip balm. I got a lip balm. I don't like it. I don't know. I like the liquid eyeshadow and I like the brow thing for my, that's it. Um, I love mom's eyeshadow duo. 
I love that. So I definitely would choose that from her box. And I think I honestly would go with her, the One One Skin Serum and, or face moisturizer, whatever you wanna call it, and then the, the lipstick, the lip color that she got, because I do like that color, so. Yeah, looks like I'm not gonna be winning the, the best boxes of the month this time, unfortunate. Um, good month for mom, really good month for mom, in my opinion. Uh, okay month for me. I don't wanna say it's a bad, it's not a bad bag. It's not my favorite bag. It was worth $12, I guess, you know? This is adorable though, so. Yeah, let me know what you guys thought about August. Um, did you like it? It's gonna get, I don't know how these are gonna post. They always post weird. We still haven't posted Boxy from July, so it's just, it, it is what it is. I, I really did, I was really dissatisfied, at least when I when it came to like choosing the products for the Glam Bag X, so we'll see. That video I think is gonna be pretty harsh. Um, so I'm, I'm not unhappy with Ipsy, I'm just like, this, this was an off month in my opinion for all my boxes, for my Boxy Charm, for this, for all of it, so yeah. Let me know what you guys think, if you liked it, if you didn't like it. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing really well. If, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. We're about to jump into the Halloween season and I do have some really exciting things planned for that. So yes, please give us a subscribe if you wanna see all that unfold. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day and you stay girly with the Dark Twist.